What's up? This is V with your fix for Friday, May 23rd, 2008. Brought to you as always by Hollywood Previews. After a 19-year absence, Indiana Jones finally returns to the big screen with Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I'm here in Santa Monica, California to get the first audience reactions to Indy 4. I loved it. It was great. It was exciting, filled with all the Indiana Jones stuff, and I even wore my Indiana Jones hat. I thought it was just an excellent ending to the, to the series. They did a really good job on it. I thought it was going to be kind of corny because he's kind of old, but they pulled it off. It was pretty good. And it was real nice seeing uh, Karen Allen again. I really enjoyed it. A lot of fun. Very, very, very good. I put it right up next to the first one. I'd say number two out of the four. Oh! I'd cover my ears if I were you. For trailers, interviews, and more, check out HollywoodPreviews.com. Now, in other news, Lionsgate has moved the release date of the Frank Miller film The Spirit to Christmas Day. The film, written and directed by Frank Miller, is based on the comic book created by Will Eisner. It stars Gabriel Macht, Samuel L. Jackson, and Scarlett Johansson. It was slated to open January 16, 2009, but Lionsgate decided to move it up, partially due to the excitement from the fans at Comic-Con. My city screams. She is my mother. She is my lover. And I am her spirit. I'm on my way. For the full trailer, visit HollywoodPreviews.com. Another action hero hitting the big screen after a long absence is Brandon Fraser in The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. This latest installment moves to China and welcomes new cast members Jet Li, Michelle Yeoh, and Maria Bello. The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. For trailers and more on everything you've seen on today's show, visit HollywoodPreviews.com. Everything's on the homepage. I'm V, and you have had your fix. Enjoy your Memorial Day weekend.